Mental math tricks multiply multiples of 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, etc. by counting zeros. Remember, mental math is math we calculate in our head without paper and pencil. We can quickly multiply when factors have zero in their ones, tens, hundreds place. So take a look at what I've done here. We have our basic multiplication fact of 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. If we multiply 40 times 3, there's one zero here. We have 12 with a zero, that's 120. If we multiply 400 times 3, we still have our 4 times 3, which is 12, but now we have the two zeros in the product, it's 1,200. 4,000 times 3, we still have our 12, but we have our three zeros here, which will make it 12,000. The factor ends with one zero, the product will end with one zero. Two zeros, we have two zeros. Three zeros, we have three zeros. With basic multiplication facts memorized, we can quickly multiply in our head. We don't need paper and pencil. Six times three is equal to 18, so 60 times 3 is equal to 180, and 600 times 3 is equal to 1,800. Normally, when we multiply using paper and pencil, we multiply each place value starting at the ones place. If we have 90 times 2, we do 0 times 2, which is 0, and then the 2 times 9, which is 18, and we have 180. But we could quickly do this in our head by just thinking 2 times 9 is 18 and we have 1 0. 12 plus 12 is 24, therefore 12 times 2 is equal to 24. Knowing 12 times 2 is equal to 24, we can quickly do mental math in our head of 120 times 2. We think 12 times 2 is 24, and we have 1 0, it's 240. 1,200 times 2 would be 24 with two zeros. It would be 2,400. 12,000 times 2 would be 24 with three zeros. It would be 24,000. Take a look at this one. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. If we have 50 times 8, we think 5 tens times 8 tens is equal to 40 tens. That's the same thing as 400. We have our 40 with the 1 zero. 500 times 8 would be a 40 with two zeros. It would be 4,000. So even though 40 has a zero here, we still Add the correct amount of zeros. So we have our 40 with the two zeros to have 4,000. We can round an amount and multiply in our head. If we're at a store and we see that one pair of pants costs $49 and we need to buy eight pairs, so how much for eight pairs? We just round the $49 to $50 and think, well, five times eight is equal to 40 with another zero for 50 times 8. That would be approximately $400. This mental math trick also works if both factors end with 0. If we have 70 times 20, we think, well, 2 times 7 is 14, and we have two zeros, it's 1,400. If we have 40 times 30, we think, well, 4 times 3 is 12, and we have two zeros, it's 1,200. 5 times 4 is 20, so 50 times 40 would be that 20 with two zeros in the product, it would be 2,000. And 500 times 400 would be that 20 with four zeros in the product, it would be 200,000. We can quickly do this in our head when we're at the store or at the bank and we don't have pencil and paper. I want you to try these. Can you do 50 times 3 quickly in your head?
what do you think the product would be? Well, if you thought 5 times 3 is 15, and we have 1 zero, so it's 150, you're correct. How about 30 times 8? Can you do that quickly in your head? If you thought 3 times 8 is equal to 24, and we have 1 zero, so the product is 240, you're correct again. Let's see if you can quickly do these in your head. Do you know 50 times 30, what the product would be? If you thought 5 times 3 is 15, and we have two zeros, so the product is 1,500, you got it correct. What about 300 times 80? Quickly in your head. Three times eight is 24, and we have one, two, three zeros. If you found that it was 24,000, you got it right. Knowing our multiplication facts, we can quickly multiply in our head and count the number of zeros that are in the factors. When we're at a store, or somewhere without paper and pencil, we can even round numbers up to a multiple of 10 or 100 to quickly do mental math in our head. It won't be an exact answer. It'll be an approximation, but it might help you to know if you can afford to buy something. In our next Mental Math Tricks lesson, I'm going to show you how to quickly calculate a tip without pencil and paper. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye!